So in this video, uh, got a 2008 RAV4 with the 2AZ-FE engine. It's a 2.4 liter. The one that has excessive oil consumption. So, I mean, this one's all taken apart. We got a new engine over there ready to go. Um, this one was burning a lot of oil and not topped up fast enough, often enough. Um, this connecting rod bearing went, journal bearing, um, because it was starved of oil. Now, this is on the side of the engine that is farthest away from the oil pan. So it was starved first and it seized right up. It is horrible. Um, oil pump gear is pretty chewed. Uh, yeah, it was just, the engine ended up seizing right up and not, not moving at all. You just start, you go to start it and when you turn the key, it would go just click and that's it. That's all the starter would make. It was jammed shut. When we got it out of the car and even somewhat disassembled, you, you couldn't, you could not move the crank until we disconnected this from the uh, connecting rod for the piston. Um, so I guess the problem is obviously very common. It's all over the internet. This is just another video, but uh, just showing you the insides more. I guess the problem of the is the uh, oil seal ring here. It's a one piece design and it was the first time Toyota did it like that and also the last so i mean this is the only bad engine with that and uh they have a service bulletin whatever that tests oil consumption uh and if it's under warranty which no car will be nowadays because it's, it's happened too long ago um it will uh they will tear it apart if it if it burns over a quart in 1200 miles they will tear it apart for you it's a 16 hour job Tear it apart, replace I think the pistons and the piston rings with a new design. I think it's a three-piece design or something. I don't I don't even know, but um, they'll replace it with a revised design and it will work well after that and not burn oil. But for everyone nowadays that doesn't have warranty and it happens after sixty thousand miles or a hundred thousand kilometers, um, you're you're replacing your engine. Engines aren't easy to come by. I mean, you can get them, but they're not easy to come by because they're all plagued with this problem. It's actually cheaper. The RAV4 also came with a V6, the, I guess it's called the 3, the 2GR FE or something, or 3GR. Um, it's a V6. It is actually cheaper to get a V6 from the junkyard than it is uh, the 2.4 liter inline four because of the demand and supply. Tons of V6s out there because they don't break just like any other Toyota engine, but very very few or minimal inline fours with a high price because they all do this <laughs> um yeah so this one's all ripped apart this one's going to scrap uh we just we needed actually to rip it all apart to get the uh torque converter off to get to all these bolts because it wouldn't turn well in the block because it was that seized so yeah pretty crazy uh Pretty crazy, crazy job, but that's that's what it looks like inside. Just wouldn't wouldn't turn. There's the top of the engine. It's flipped upside down right now. Here's the uh, head with all the valves in it. Cams are in the scrap bin. So yeah, I'll I'll put uh in the description uh, actually the uh, repair procedure. You can buy um, piston ring kits and pistons repair kits for this as it's, as it's burning oil. Not once it seizes, as it's burning oil. I mean, nothing wrong with burning oil as long as you keep it topped up. But uh, if you want to not have to top up your engine every thousand miles or less, then uh, you're going to, you could, you potentially could replace the pistons and rings and, and solve it for good. Anyways, thanks for watching.